Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the second part of Gate General Aptitude series. In the previous video where we have discussed about uh, successive percentage type of questions, many of you have answered those questions and I'm super happy with the response I have received and you guys are liking this particular series. So today in this video, we are going to talk about questions based upon average speed. Now, speed, time and distance. This is a very broad chapter. There are so many types of questions which are asked from here, uh, like average speed based, then your speed time based, then your train based, then your boat and stream based. So many different types of questions are there. So I'll try to cover all of them in this particular series one by one. And I'll give you enough practice as well so that you and I'll also discuss about tricks as well so that uh, you have you you don't get problem whenever you solve this type of question. Beat any competitive exam, CSR, net gate, any competitive exam. All right. So this particular video is regarding average speed uh, when uh, you are asked to calculate the average speed and this is the type of question where people do lot of mistakes due to overconfidence. So I'll discuss that that where the uh, scope of making mistake is there and uh, like how to solve the questions. I'll also talk about the detailed method and the trick method both and uh, before going into that let's go to the questions. Let's see the questions which I have given as homework in the previous video. And let's see what are the answers of them and how to solve them quickly so that we can come back to this and we can solve average speed based questions. This was the first question which I have given you as a homework in the previous video. It says that after three successive equal percentage rise in the salary of uh, salary of some rupees 100, it turned out to 181 rupees and 58 paisa approximately. Find the percentage raise in the salary at one time increase. So how to do that? Basically, what are you given with? You are given with final value that is 181 rupees and 58 paisa you are given with initial value which was considered as x so that is 100 rupees and you uh, are being asked about the percentage okay so percentage are same and they are just a value right a is the percentage let's consider it so considering the formula which was that final value is equals to x times of 1 and since it is successive equal percentage raise right the percentage is rising that's why we will use plus sign a upon 100 and since we can do it three times or since it is being done three times so i can take whole cube of it uh, it's pretty same thing right so this is the formula which i have to do and i have to calculate the value of a here how to solve this up i'll write down the final value that that is 181.58 and that is equals to 100 and then I have uh, 1 plus a upon 100 whole cube. So basically, I will have uh, 181.58 uh, divided by 100, and that will be equal to 1 plus a upon 100 whole cube. Now, pretty much of calculation is required because here, when you divide, it will become 1.8158. Uh, that's what you will get. And uh, this is going to be equal to uh, 1 plus a upon 100 whole cube so basically 1 plus a upon 100 whole cube is uh, sorry if you remove this cube here so you will have cube root of this value that is 1.8158 now you have to use your calculator to calculate the cube root of it so if you take the cube root of it it becomes 1 plus a by 100 and it is 1.2 one nine nine eight nine something like that what you have to do is you have to calculate a by 100 so one will be subtracted from here so 1.2199 minus 1 so a by 100 will be equal to 0 0.2199 and a will be equal to 21.99 or roughly around 22 percent so your correct answer for this is option number b which is 22 percent Okay, so it was pretty simple and pretty easy question you have to use calculator to do this part all right let's see the next next question which i have given you as homework now here it says that two successive price increase of 10 percent and 10 percent of an article are equivalent to a single price of what so let's say that initial price is let's say that initial price is 100 final price we need to find out so final price will be how much so initial price is 100 and 1 plus percentage rise is 10 divided by 100 and I can do square of it because both uh, are same. 
uh, both percentage are same so i can do square of it two times i can do it it is 100 and 1 plus uh, 0 0.1 square so it is like 100 into 1.10 square of that so now you have to use calculator to do it so the square of it comes out to be uh, 1.21 you multiply it becomes 121 so the final price is 121 initial price is this much so the percentage increase percentage increase is how much that will be pretty simple 121 minus 100 and that will give you 21 percent so the answer for both uh, sorry for the first question was 22 percent and for this question it is 21 percent this is how these homework questions were needed to be done I hope and many of you have done it correctly. I'm very happy with that. So very nice. Now let's get back to the topic of this video. All right. So uh, let's take the first question of today's uh, topic. This is from Gate 2018 exam. It says that an automobile travels from city A to city B and returns to city A by the same route. The speed of the vehicle during the onward and the return journey were 60 km per hour and 90 km per hour respectively. What is the average speed in kilometer per hour of the journey? So let me just quickly explain you. So you are going from city A to city B from a particular route. So let's say this is the route from which you are going. So while going your speed of the vehicle was 60 kilometer per hour and while returning the speed of the vehicle is 90 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now understand that the distance which the person is traveling is same. Uh, along the both the things they are asking about the average speed so what mistake people will generally do in these type of question uh, they will see that there are two speeds and uh, they have to find out the average value so simply they will think that we have 60 kilometers and 90 kilometers they will add them divide that by 2 to get the average so you will get 150 by 2 and you will get an answer in the option that is 75 which is option number d but that is not the correct option for this whenever you are asked to find out average speed remember that to solve this type of question you always have to do in this way you have to do total distance okay total distance divided by total time this is the uh, usual way of doing this type of question or general way of doing it now here since the distance was not mentioned you can take any number as uh, the distance you can take 100 as the distance just to make the calculation easier so uh, what is going to be the total time first of all so on going when you are going you know that speed is equals to distance upon time and time is equals to distance upon speed so uh, while you are going time how much time you are going to take so distance i have considered this from here from a to b the distance is 100 so it will cover 100 kilometer uh, like 100 kilometers the distance by 60 kilometer per hour so this is going to be the time so 10 upon 6 will be the value uh, then uh, when you are coming back so on return you have time how much time you are going to take in that case so again the distance you are traveling again is 100 and how much time you are taking uh, sorry how is how much is the speed that is 90 so that will be 10 upon 9 so total time which you will take is the sum of these two and total distance is going to be 200 right so total distance is going to be 200 and total time total time will be 10 upon 6 plus 10 upon 9 now you have to solve this calculate total time total distance put it in the formula and that's how you will get your average speed now this is the usual method or the conventional method of doing uh, questions based upon time and uh, sorry or based upon average speed now let's go for trick let's see a trick and how to do that okay so we have actually two tricks trick number one is when the distance is same between the two points which was similar to what we were having in our question right so let's say you are going from some point a to some point b and then again coming back to this point a or you are going from point A to B then going from point B to C with the same distances so if the distances are same in both the cases then only you can apply this trick okay so this trick is only applicable if the distance is same remember this so average speed can be simply calculated so let's imagine that let 
let x kilometer per hour is a speed is a speed on going okay while going and y kilometer per hour is a speed on returning okay on returning so average speed average speed can be simply calculated by this formula 2xy divided by x plus y that's all okay you just have to use this formula but remember this you can only use if the distance is same if the distance between the two points is same then only you can use this formula okay this is the first trick which you can use the second trick is pretty simple it you are going to use this when the time is same when the time taken is same so let's say if a person goes from point a to point b and it takes the same time t to reach from here with some speed x right and on returning also he takes the same time t but now my speed of that person is y let's say so in that case when the time is same when it takes the same time previous question previous trick was when the distance is same and here when the time is uh, going to be taken same and the speeds are different in that case average speed can be simply calculated as x plus y divided by 2 that's all okay so this is how you are going to use these two tricks to solve the questions based upon average speed and now i am going to uh, show you that how you can solve the question uh, using this particular trick so here this is the first condition here our distance is same and we have two different speeds so let's say x is equals to 60 km per hour and y is equals to 90 km per hour so if i use the trick and find out average speed so that is going to be 2 times of 60 into 90 2xy divided by 60 plus 90. What I will get in the numerator? Uh, it Let's keep it as it is 2 into 60 into 90 and divided by it will be 150. You can cancel out things. You can cancel out by 3, 3 times, 3, 5 times, then 5, 12 times. If you multiply 12 into 6, it is going to become 72 kilometers. So correct answer is your option number A, not your option number D. So this is how you are going to use the trick to find out average speed of a given in a particular given condition. It was a very simple and straightforward question. Still, I told you that that's what the mistake people will do. And I have given you this usual method also. Na? You can try with this method and check out whether you are getting this 72 km per hour as the speed or not, average speed or not. Okay, so do check that out. So I have just solved it based upon the trick and the upcoming questions which I am going to give you those also I will try to use the trick to solve them. Okay, let's take one more question. It says, it says that Samuel covers the distance from his home to his office at the speed of 25 km per hour and comes back with the speed of 4 km per hour. Now he completes the whole journey within 5 hours and 48 minutes. What they are asking is find out the distance from his home to the office. So see what exactly is happening. Uh, there is a person who is sitting at his home and this is his office. Now from home to office, that person is going with a speed of 25 km per hour. Okay? Whereas on returning, he is just coming by 4 km per hour. Okay? Remember that the distance are same between both the places. Total time which he is taking. Okay? Total time which he is taking is 5 hour and 48 minutes. Okay, 5 hour and 48 minutes. What they are asking is find the distance in kilometer, right? So we will try to do it. So whenever you are given with this, basically uh, in order to find out when you are given with total time, you need to find out total distance first of all. And for that, you need to find out average speed because you know average speed is equal to total distance upon total time. So now we have to find out average Speed that we can simply do by our trick that is 2 times of x that is 25 into y that is 4 divided by x plus y that is 25 plus 4. Now if you solve this in the numerator you will get 200 divided by 29 and you will get uh, like this particular value. Okay? So you can either convert it in decimals or you can just keep it this much this much kilometer per hour. Total time is 5 hour Okay, let me write down total time is 5 hour 
48 minutes. See, always whenever the time is in hour and minute, you have to convert the minute into hours and that's how you have to do, okay? Because the speed is in kilometer per hour. So basically, 5 hour will remain as it is and 48 minute, you have to divide by 60 to convert that into hours again. Uh, so basically, if you do that, so this is going to be, you can simply use table of 12 to cancel out 12 4 times and 12 5 times. So this will be 5 hours plus 4 by 5 hours. Okay, this much hour is the total time which that person is taking. If you take LCM and solve, this becomes 29 by 5 hours. All right. Now you will use the formula average speed is equal to total distance upon total time or you can say that total distance is average speed into total time. So total distance will be equal to average speed into total time. Pretty simple. So we will use value of total average speed that is 200 by 29 and total time is 29 by 5. 29 and 29 will get cancelled out. 5 say if you cancel out, you will get 40 kilometers. Now, 40 kilometers is the total distance. Understand this. That means when he is going from home to office and then coming from office to home. So, he is going also the same distance, coming also same distance. Total distance is 40. So, what will be the distance between home and office? Pretty simple. Answer will be 20. Why? Because 20 he will go, 20 he will come, then only it will become total 40, right? Or you can divide this by 2. That's how you will get the answer. So, correct answer will be option number A, right? So, this is how question based upon average speed can be twisted a little bit and can be asked in this particular manner. I hope you guys understood. Now, I am going to give you a homework question so that you can try off your own. So, this is your homework question. What it says? It says that a man goes from A to B at a speed of 20 km per hour and comes back to A at a speed of 30 km per hour. What they are asking is find the average speed of the entire journey. Okay, it's very very simple question. I want your answer in the comment sections below. This is another homework which I'll give you guys uh, for this particular video. It says that the speed of a child while going to school is 2 km per hour and uh, returns to the village at the speed of 3 km per hour. We usually do like this. We go to school slowly and come back fast. Fine. If he takes 5 hours in all, what is the distance between the village and the school? So again, this question is based upon the second question which I have solved in this video. Uh, this is based upon that concept. I hope you guys will be able to do it. So these are the two questions which I have given you and I hope you guys will be able to solve them. I will be waiting for your answers in the comment section. So that's it for my side for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Hey guys, so I teach live on an academy plus platform. Here I teach for the CSIR UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.